Okay, this is the next thing I'm going to disassemble. I'm going to pull this apart. It doesn't really come apart. Um, this is your classic master lock that everybody had on their lockers in school. And there's no screws or anything for obvious reasons. From what I can see here, and that is the combination that I just wrote on there because I kept forgetting it. What I see here is this seems to be a kind of a back plate. And I think that a machine pressed this lip around that back plate to keep you from being able to take that plate off. I can see real close there, it looks like it's kind of rolled over. And so, you know, rather than pulling the dial off, I could just jam something in there and pry and mangle the dial off. Um, but I want to keep this kind of intact so I can see the individual parts. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to grind, I'm going to grind this lip off with the big metal grinder so that I, I can hopefully just kind of slide this plate out and see what's inside. So hang tight. Alright, so I used the big giant grinder, one of the big seven and a half inch, I suppose I should be showing it, but uh, I used the grinder to grind the lip off all the way around, or uh, not all the way around, but halfway around my guess there you see how it you can actually see the edge now through the grinded part my guess is that now i can pull this back plate up off of that back lip and um and then slide the whole thing off so let's see what happens well that did work but when you pull this off you find another solid cover. So, um, looking at the edge here, I can see a line still. So my guess is this, this whole contraption fits inside this outer case. And so I will probably keep grinding and see what I come up with next. Okay, that did the trick. Um, removing the rest of the lip from this side um, allowed this whole disc here to come out. There's this little hole, kind of a notch that was right here, and I just put the little screwdriver in there and popped this whole plate out. So, let's look in there. Alright, so this is what you got. Double wheel there. And this stuff. And um, I'm going to take a moment now and try to figure out what I'm looking at. And I'll come back and wrap this up and tell you how I think it works. Okay, so this is going to be my best guess on how this works. Of course, the dial is on the other side, right there. And when you spin the dial, which is hard to do with one hand, it turns that wheel right there. You see that wheel's got a little, a little nub on it. Right there. Now, it appears as though that nub fits into that hole and allows these two discs to spin. Now when these two discs spin, they spin independently of each other. And there's another nub on the bottom one. I don't know if you can see that. Right there. And my guess is that wherever these little nubs are located, wherever the factory places them, that becomes the combination. And the nubs will have to be lined up exactly uh, when you're spinning the top one. It uh, spins and 
and at some point, yeah, it engages the other one. And this is how the uh, combination would make these line up. And so those have to be lined up in order for, okay, let's see what I can do here, in order for that notch to fit into that, oh, whatever you're going to call it, key, uh, sort of. Anyway, that has to fit into there for this whole This whole thing has to swivel to release the latch right there. And I'm going to try to do that. I'm on a little tiny tripod. Let's see what I can do here. So, that is lined up properly. And if I uh, swing this over into that keyway, we'll release the latch and unlock the lock. And so, um, and if you're not careful, the little thing that was on there will fall out. Now, of course, this one's ruined, but, uh, you know, and it's probably the least strongest, um, lock that master makes, but um, all these years I've been wondering what was inside there, and now I know, uh, so nobody else has to uh, cut one of these things open. Um, I documented this um, so you can see what's inside. Pretty neat, and I'll be pulling more stuff apart, so subscribe, and uh, you know, they'll get more interesting than this, they'll get less interesting than this, but... Um, We'll save anybody from having to pull this apart if they're curious to look inside. If you're not curious, um, it may not be for you. Anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, stay tuned.